Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Charlotte Jordan, who plays Daisy Midgley on Coronation Street, has begged writers to offer her character some new mates. When asked what she wants to see from Daisy in the coming months, Charlotte responded, I'd like her to focus on the rovers and become a successful mini secret landlady. I'd like to see more of the plats and scenes. That would be great. On the show, start putting Daisy in different social circles. I've been begging them for years to make Daisy and Todd pals. She continued, I'm just trying to make Daisy some friends. Daisy and Jenny Connor will save the rovers with stolen money from Stephen Reed's bank account in upcoming scenes on the ITV soap. However, when they disagree on how the pub should be operated, the two will clash. Charlotte commented on how the relationship between the two will change now that they are equals, saying, it's going to be a power struggle. The relational hierarchy has always been quite obvious. It's Queen Jenny and Daisy, her sidekick. Jenny's decision to treat Daisy as an equal will be difficult, I'm sure. Daisy has to pretend nothing has changed in order for Jenny to treat her with respect and take her and her ideas seriously behind closed doors, and I have a feeling it's not going to go well. Charlotte went on to say that Daisy is putting all of her attention into the rovers because it is all she has left since her divorce from Daniel Osborne. She's lost her love, her hero, her small family, and as a result, her future. So failure for the rovers is not an option. Lucy Fallon, who plays Bethany Platt on Coronation Street, has explained why she is revisiting her role. Bethany is due to make a surprise return to Weatherfield on New Year's Eve, bringing further friction between Daniel Osborne and his estranged fiancée Daisy Midgley as she spends the night with her former flame. In explaining her decision to return to Coronation Street, Fallon stated that it was a very easy decision for her. It was a huge decision for me to leave. The actress told Digital Spy and other media outlets, adding that she was sad after departing. I've been in communication with everyone throughout my absence. I adore everyone and I love my job. Going back was the best decision I could have made, therefore it was a no-brainer. Fallon went on to say that she had always left with the goal of returning and that the birth of her son had played a role in her decision to return. I always said to my family, oh, when I go back in five years' time or whatever that was always the conversation, she told me. And I think it's nice to be able to come home to him and have that job as well as having a baby. It seemed to come at precisely the right time for me. I'm overjoyed to be back. Fallon, who has been absent from the role for nearly three years, said she has slotted back in to life on Corey, despite feeling nervous on her first day. I actually only had scenes with Tina O'Brien on my first day back, which was nice. I was quite nervous. I can't image how nervous I must have been when I first started when I was 19, I kept thinking. I have no idea how I did it, she continued. I literally felt nauseous as I walked in. Oh my God, this is terrifying, I thought. But after a couple of days, I realized, oh, this is perfect, completely fine. Following the theft of his family's Christmas presents in Coronation Street, Ed Bailey has told a massive lie. Ed has just relapsed into his gambling addiction and amassed large debts after borrowing money from his friend Tony. The precarious situation reached a climax in Friday's, December 22, show, when Tony confronted Ed and demanded that all of the money be returned. Tony had the perfect opportunity to tell Aggie everything about what her husband had done, but Ede intervened to prevent his friend from answering the phone. Tony retaliated by striking Ede in the face and then ordering him to collect all of the family's Christmas presents from under the tree. Tony offered Ede the choice of informing his family about his debts or cashing in their Christmas gifts at the pawnbroker to pay him off. Ed felt compelled to liquidate the gifts. When the Baileys arrived home, Ed had a cut lip and all of their presents had vanished. D.T. Bailey originally felt the house had been robbed, and rather than confront her, Aid agreed with her assumption. Craig Tinker, a Weatherfield PD investigator, was subsequently seen investigating the family about the burglary as Aid told a bogus narrative about inadvertently leaving the back door open. Michael and Sarge gathered around Ed, assuring him that it wasn't his fault. Despite Ed's inability to contain himself due to the self-loathing that drove his falsehoods, I ruined everything, he said to his kids. Dee Dee simply made him feel worse by revealing that the robbers did not steal Ed's present. 
Ed will be forced to confront the reality in scenes around the Christmas season, resulting in a major confrontation with his family. Charlotte Jordan of Coronation Street has spoken out on the rover's future, which is likely to cause friction between her character Daisy Midgley and Jenny Connor. Daisy and Jenny will save the rovers before the end of the year, using stolen funds to repurchase the pub from Waterfords. However, in scenes that will appear on January 1 and 2, the duo will begin to disagree on how the rovers should be run. Jordan predicted a power struggle between Daisy and Jenny now that they're business partners. It's going to be a power struggle. That relational hierarchy has always been very evident to me. It's Queen Jenny and Daisy, her sidekick. Jenny's decision to treat Daisy as an equal will be difficult, I'm sure. Daisy has to pretend nothing has changed in order for Jenny to treat her with respect and take her and her ideas seriously behind closed doors, and I have a feeling it's not going to go well. Daisy, Jordan continued, puts all her energy into the rovers because it's all she's got left. She's lost her love, her hero, her small family, and as a result, her future. So failure for the rovers is not an option, she continued. She will be bursting with ideas to revamp the place, Jordan said of Daisy's intentions for the bar. She understands that the business model needs...